good morning what is up loves welcome back to my channel it's your girl tiffany t lux realtor if you are new here a super welcome to you if i seem sleepy it is because i am <laughs> i literally just woke up it is 6 a.m um and put my walking clothes on and i am headed to meet my fiance at the track by his house i told you guys we go back and forth between walking by my house and then walking the track by his house so today we're walking the track by his house but i'm gonna be doing a day in the life video um as you guys know i have decided to join a team which i am extremely excited about um just what it is that they offer what they do they are a top team a top producing team and i think it's gonna be really good for um what it is that i am trying to do i i'm sure that i've shared here before my entire career i've always done other things so yeah it was like i was a full-time realtor but like not for real <laughs> because like this was my main way that i made money but i was author also either like an author or speaking or leading um some ministry or community um i had other side businesses and so this is the first time that i am like full on i don't do anything but sell real estate and so i'm just excited to give my literal everything <laughs> to this and um just take it all to another level and so with that i know that my disciplines are so important you guys should be locked into my 30 day lock series that i'm doing right now and the very first one said that we are to be intentional and not emotional you know so even today like um i woke up got some little you know stuff going on but it was like it doesn't matter you know the intention is what you said you were gonna do not how you feel and we said we were gonna walk every morning at 6 a.m so i'm up and we're walking so um So I just wanted to come and greet you guys. Um, oh, I brought up the team because I am um, headed out to that office today. They do an in-person huddle on Tuesdays. And so I am going to that. I officially start on the team next week, but I am going to the in-person because y'all know your girl don't play. I also have three agents that are coming with me. So y'all already know I'm with EXP. So I get a revenue share bonus for any um agents who i sponsor to exp but in addition if i um bring agents to this particular team i'm not gonna tell y'all the number but i also get a really nice bonus for five years um for that team member obviously as long as they're there so i got two of my partners um who have been with exp with me for a while who are going to join and then i have an agent who joined exp with someone else um, but they were looking for a team and so I was like, um, hello. So I'm definitely gonna be using that um, as another stream of income. So uh, now that I am like all in like absolutely nothing else, I think it's gonna really, really, really allow for me to reach all of my potential. And I'm super excited about that. So, um, so I'm about to run with my fiance and then after we get done with that of course i'm gonna go home shower i'm gonna try to grab me something for breakfast she said they usually have bagels and things like that but i don't know it's not that close to my house so i'll probably just try to get something at home i'll see i'll see what that um ends up looking like i also have a um an appointment with a seller who wants to sell their property so i need i'm going to the house today to do a walkthrough and everything and she wants to list pretty quickly so i'm really excited about that as well and then of course i should have three closes this month i don't know when you guys are going to see this video um it is june right now um and so i should have three closes this month so i have to check on that and then of course just more pipeline stuff and my newsletter goes out tomorrow. Here's my fiance now. Oh, he's looking at me like, where you going? Huh? 
I thought we came through right here. I thought we um I thought we came through on this side. Yeah. Oh, it's on the other side? Yeah. Can you get this? Say good morning to the vlog since you're here. What's up? <laughs> um, wait, so you said I go on where? You just go straight. Okay, here. go straight. Okay. Um so yes, just it'll be more work and I will bring you guys along today. So now we're figuring out where we're actually going. Now we're here in the street. All right, love. So I am headed to the team meeting now. So if you guys ever see me with my head scarf on, okay, ever. The only time I have it on outside of the house, when I run, I do um, just kind of like to keep that on, especially because we go so early in the morning, it's cold, kind of keep my ears covered. But I will have it on in the car because y'all know you got to keep them edges laid. When you have braids, you can really start looking fuzzy. So that's it. You will never see me in public with scarf bonnets. I am not that girl. Um, so I'm dressed. I actually have on the Michael Kors dress. You guys have seen this before. I'm obsessed with this dress. So that's what I have on. I put this little um, short sleeve blazer on over it because it is a little chilly right now. It's supposed to get into the 70s, but it's a little chilly right now. Um, so I just wanted to throw this on. Then I got my coach heels on and my coach bag. So we're giving all the neutrals for today. I still just have to put my lip on, but I'm super excited. It's going to be a great day. Like I said, I'm meeting uh, my two business partners as well as a new agent who's joining the team. I'm going to be meeting them there. And then afterwards, I have a walkthrough with a seller who is interested in selling. I have to follow up with another one of my um, potential sellers because they said the 13th they should be ready. And today is the 11th. So just going to follow up with her, see how clean out and everything is going at the house. So that should be two listings that I have coming soon. I just checked in with the agent on my listing um, just to see how their buyer is doing because I think we're pretty much waiting on the... Um, we're pretty much waiting on the clear to close for them. And then I'm texting another one of my buyers right now who have a property she's super interested in. So I'm going to see, actually, if I can get her scheduled for today, I'm, I'm, you know, like I said, I have the listing appointment and then I have, um, just really checking in with like clients and then going through my pipeline and trying to get some more prospects. So, um, everything is going really good. You guys, I, I am so proud of myself because I am really not a product of culture. And I think that it is so important for you to, I understand, especially when you're new and when you're trying to grow, you're, you're going to always like look around and see what are successful people doing, which makes sense. That's why I'm on a team right now, because there is success here. You know, they provide um, opportunities and leads like that. But what I mean by not a product of culture is that my identity um, as a person, as a woman, and as a realtor, I'm not trying to be anybody else. I want to be a top producer in my mind, right, for myself. Yes, the numbers are going to say if you're producing, maybe you're producing higher than this person or higher than that person, but a high producer for myself, what is your goals? Because the truth of the matter is, you may not be aiming to sell 100 homes a year. You may be aiming to make $100,000, and that's two different things. If you are aiming to be a millionaire, like meaning you actually profit a million, then that's going to be different than the agent who's saying, I'm just trying to sell a million a year. This is a side thing. Or even if this is, you know, full time, I also have my family or I also, again, have other obligations. So you need to decide who you are and what you want to be as an agent and then go after that. Because when we are out here trying to be what other people are and we're copying, it gets old fast, discouragement happens fast. But when you have a goal, when you say, this is what my best self is, this is what my aim is, you can go at that with so much more peace. And I'm not telling you to aim low. Like the goals that I have for myself, like what I'm trying to make this year is more than double of the most that I've made in my career, right? So I'm not saying just aim for what you're aiming for. Nobody has to know and then you aim low. No, that's gonna be you doing yourself a disservice. I am telling you to set your mind 
on you and what you know is on the inside of you and reach for that. And then it is important to get in the right environment because you could be aiming low just because you don't have anything or anyone around you to pull that out of you. But I'm just saying all of that, y'all, to say it is so important for you to really be yourself, know your goals, know your dreams, know your why, know what you are aiming for. Do not copy. It's old. It's ugly. It's unattractive. And you're not going to be able to put your all into it the way you will if you have your vision of you. If you tap into who it is that God made you, who he has called you to be, and you go after that. So I'm excited, y'all, on my way there to the team meeting. Now, again, the last time I went, there was not a whole lot of wiggle room for me to record, which is great because we in there working. Like, they focus, training, working. So I'll bring you guys in as much as possible. Um, and, yeah, let's make it an amazing day. Something I'm really going to have to manage um, and I believe I've shared here with you guys, I am not a morning person. And what I mean by that is, because I know we have to be careful with what we speak. What I mean by that is my body clock does not wake me up in the morning. Like some people, it's like, you know, five o'clock, no matter if I try to sleep in, it wake me up. Six o'clock, no matter what, it wakes me up. My body is not that. I sleep and I can sleep long. I actually am a person who needs like nine to 10 hours. I can't go run off for three hours, four hours, five hours. And so I'm not a natural morning person. I am a night person. I can be up working, literally, not just being entertained, but up working, researching, studying, all of that stuff, literally 12, 1 o'clock. That is my natural body clock. And so um, obviously in this season of my life, I'm trying to make better decisions, better business decisions. Again, you guys know I'm going to be getting married soon. So I don't want to be a wife and a future mom getting up at nine and 10 in the morning. Like that worked for me as a single woman, but with a family, it's not going to work. So now I'm in the season where I'm really building myself up and trying to change and adjust my my body clock and really the way that I am. And so I've been doing really good. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I have an accountability call um, with some ladies at 5 a.m. So that's been helping me. And then I also run, walk and run with my fiance at 6. But now that I'm joining this team, our team meetings, at least for like I think like eight weeks or however long I'm in their boot camp is at nine in the morning but it's a 40 minute drive so based on how my schedule is I'm gonna have to try to get out of the house earlier because y'all already know my goal is always to be somewhere five to ten minutes early but because I'm 40 minutes away it's a nine o'clock meeting meaning my travel time is during rush hour I hit traffic so while I would normally still be there at time on time, I end up like 10 after nine and I don't want that to be me. I don't want that to be my reputation. And it's not even about other people. Like I was just saying, who do you want to be? Me, I want to be a timely person. I want to be there. I want to have a good seat. I want to have my notebook. Mentally, when you're rushing, I feel like you're not in the mindset to just receive because you're scattered. Did I leave something? I'm trying to hurry up and do this, hurry up and do that. And so these are just some of the adjustments that I'm having to make and I'm okay. I want to make them because there's a level of success and wealth that I really am aiming to get to. You know, I have my personal goals and then again, I have the goals that myself and my fiance are making for our future. So I just wanted to share that because there is traffic. Um, again, I'm already 40 minutes away and there's traffic, but there's never an excuse. If that means get up a little bit earlier or figure out how to do, you know, makeup in a lesser time. Um, I usually have my outfit together so I don't have to worry about the clothes. It's not that. Whatever it is that I have to figure out, um, that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to make that adjustment. So I'm really just bringing you guys along the journey of how I am going to the next level as a realtor. I've done, like I said, a great job. I've built myself up. I've built my career. I've been able to do it full time uh, for a few years, even with doing other things and not putting 100% um, efforts into real estate. But now it's 100% effort. So we're going to definitely soar beyond my own imagination. And I just share this stuff with you guys because I want to encourage you that you can do it, but you really got to make real decisions and your discipline is so doggone important y'all it's so important but listen we can do it so let's let's do it let's do it this is maybe one uh so it's really good
great job, by the way, get approximately, but keep that in mind. Just because your clients are looking right now, they might not buy for a year or two years. It doesn't mean they, they hate you, it just means they're not ready yet, right? So that. So I am um, about to pull up, but I logged on to the Zoom because they also do it via Zoom. Um, but like I said, because I'm taking myself to the next level, I am pushing myself out of the house and to get into the office, but also because I just joined the team, there is a boot camp that I have to go through for. So for the first, like I said, it's a couple of weeks or so, I do have to go into the office. Like that's a part of joining their team because they train and different things like that. So I'm pulling up now, but I'm listening in. Um, so I'm not super late. Like they just did like a little opening icebreaker thing. And um, now they're sharing wins. So, and then I text my uh, partners and they said they are here. So. I'm super excited. All right, let's get off of here and in there. Oh, and um, my client wants to see a house tonight. Uh, so I'm gonna also get that scheduled as well. So we're moving. Okay, guys, so I feel like I give y'all this angle each time. I'm guessing this is how it's going to be when I come out here. I'm sorry. But that's just because the sun is shining. It's, like, amazing. So, team meeting was excellent. So, it looks like it's usually an hour long. So, that's good. Um, So, all three of my guests are here. Love that. So, they're going to um check out all the details of the team. And I'm actually going into onboarding. So, that's what we're doing right now. She asked me to grab my computer and then i'm gonna go back and meet all of my guests so i just wanted to update you guys everything is going good like i said i have a listing appointment when i leave here and a showing and then i'm meeting my friend my good friend for a work date so i'm in the office and i am uh, well i joined the team in it that i filled out the like their agreement but now i'm like onboarding so i'm getting my email set up and all of that all my guests are in the other room learning about the company so so yep. exciting. Okay. We don't have to do anything. Oh, we're good? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay, so let me actually, the only thing, do you know how your name is written on your um, license by chance? Do you have Just spell your whole name for me. Let's okay. First is T-I-F-F-A-N-I-E. Why am I looking at it like I don't know how to spell it? <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm literally reading it all up here. My middle is R A Y. Oh my gosh, that was the best. Was I know. I was that like, was what amazing. Are you doing? I love it. Okay, let's see. Okay, you said you're with Knapport. Yep. Wait, our license expire end of this year? Time flies. Right. Oh my god, I feel like we just renewed it. We've got the marketing team. Like you know how you do an open house and you and you bring your yellow piece of paper? Right, and then they write fake names, right? They write Scooby-Doo on there and they give you a fake number. On the team, we create a, a, a marketing piece with your name on it, with your face on it, with the property on it, specific. And we put a QR code. And so you say to the client walking in. So that was very productive. Um, all of my guests who were there, I had three guests there. Like I said, they really enjoyed it. They loved everything. One of the guys signed up. Um, so that's good because I do get a bonus uh, for five years actually for bringing agents um, onto the team. So he signed up. My one business partner needs a couple months because she's working somewhere else. And then the other one, he's just trying to decide if he can do it full time. So now I am headed to my listing appointment.
Okay, love, so I'm all done with the appointment. Um, yeah, you guys won't know what it is. Well, yes, you would because you can see it. Never mind. Um, <laughs> trying to figure out what to, to say, what is okay to say. Um, it was an appointment. Uh, we're going to follow up on Friday. You know, one thing about me, you guys, is I am... I'm an honest person in general. I'm an honest agent and it hasn't failed me yet. <laughs> so I love and appreciate that about my business. Um, some people are the type where it's like, just take the listing, just get it, just take it. And I'm all for it, but I'm also all for honesty because it is more of a headache for you to have a listing that's not selling and they're looking at you crazy and calling your phone and disrespecting you and you just having to deal with so many different things than me saying up front hey this is the value this is where it's at and so my buyer i'm sorry the seller purchased the property three years ago and now they want to sell it and they're wanting to list it for twenty thousand, well over what the cops and the, here's the thing y'all in real estate, you will have properties that just do not have comps, like, and it is the hardest thing. This property has perfect comps. I'm talking about, like, they're pretty much the same property, and, you know, they're just designed differently. So I was literally able to show more than one, and I'm like, this is the range. This one was 227, this one was 230, and they're cleaner than that one. They're more updated than that one, and they're trying to do 250. And I'm just like, it's too high. Now, granted, with the market that we are in, will you get buyers and views? Absolutely. I feel like 250 for just over here is too much. That's crazy. That that this is making my head spin because wow. And y'all, I'm the agent, right? I would get the commission. The higher the listing, the more money I make. But I'm not in the business to just be doing anything and bring down like et like be ethical it's not there and so i don't i also i prepare cmas and sometimes i'll send some ahead of time but i go in and show the client exactly how i pull up what i pull up because this is not the time for you to sit and be playing with sellers and playing with clients and trying to be cute and just showing them these cute paper no like you need to see what is going on in this market and so i showed exactly what is going on in the market and so even there was one that went at 250 but it's further it's further out like comps they're always going to start closer to your home and there are enough comps close to this property that they don't need to go out there but also the one that went for 250 again further out into a better part of the neighborhood bigger and completely updated like they said oh i put in new carpet and i'm looking and it's already like stains on the carpet that one at 250 brand new like hardwood everything is like fresh and it's sold at 250 so um they said they're going to think about it and i told them i said you can list it at 250 but when you do things like that and you're outside of your comp you're outside of your value it causes you to sit on the market longer or you just have to be prepared for people to come in under asking so it's one of those things where i'll see what happens i have taken listings before that went above the two i mean what's too many that went above the value and we just had to pull the numbers down you know i think the worst thing for me is when you do an excellent job explaining and showing you list it for the number in their mind because sometimes you just got to show sellers just get it on the market and show them and then they end up listing with somebody else where you told them and then it sells so um the client is very dedicated and committed i feel like they really want to get out of there um personally like spiritually i feel I feel something with this. I don't know what it is. Um, it's not the most comfortable. So I don't know what that's all about. Um, I actually really feel like I need to pray. Like, yeah. Yeah. 
but anyway i just wanted to come and update you guys on what my listing appointment was like so now for the rest of the day i literally just have client updates i do have a showing later um client updates prospect updates content updates and i'm meeting my friend for a work date later but i gotta go pray y'all that's another thing we don't talk about in this business at least those of us who are very spiritually aware and heightened going into different people's houses and stuff and more and more today people are into so many different things yeah let me um it was it's always a good time this is one of my friends who um is also in business she's a photographer she actually is a real estate photographer and um she's done a lot of my listings for me and um but she's been my friend for like over 10 years and so we have kind of committed one strong part of our relationship is that we is that we do these work dates ever so often so we'll literally get together and uh, listen give me my receipt because i want the write-off oh that's all um bye we get together and we literally just sit for hours and just work <laughs> So that has been such a beautiful bonding moment for us. And um, it's good for me to just like, you know, no clients, no calls. No, sometimes I'll be making calls, but for the most part, we're in a coffee, coffee shop. So I'm not <laughs> making calls. You know, I'm trying to be quiet, but just a lot of computer work, a lot of prepping. Um, I'm starting this new series on my Leeds YouTube channel. So today I was really able to sit down and just like, write some stuff out for that so i'm so excited about that um i was able to get some paperwork done for some clients um of course she and i talk she's um newly married i was in her wedding so we talk personal stuff too because we're good friends but yeah that work day so i always encourage you like if you don't have like accountability partner or a work day or um anything like that like really add that to your business because it's a booster like after meeting with her i feel like i'll get done things that i just don't normally get done and now i feel i feel good i just like got some stuff off of the 
to do this so um now y'all we are headed to this closing and then i am headed home it's my closing is at 8 p.m so y'all can see my day literally started at 6 a.m with my fiance walking in the morning and it's ending you know 8 p.m is my last showing i'm gonna head home i gotta cook dinner i took out some shrimp and broccoli um his birthday was yesterday actually and i have a little bit of cake and ice cream left over so i am going to go home probably take me another shower because i've been out like all day make my shrimp my broccoli in the night with my ice cream and my cake and read a little bit of my book read my bible talk to my fiance love on him for a little bit but get loved on and call it a night i hope y'all have really enjoyed today just showing you guys the real real of keeping it going in a business that you know some people just don't make it but i'm making sure that i make it and i love doing it with you all sometimes you can but you have to take them you know what i mean to see the properties and then too sometimes you have to take them to kind of show them moving forward um so i knew we weren't going to submit but of course she wanted to see it she had to be able to eliminate it because you also never want them to have that man i wish we would have or i wish we could have type of deal so that was that i'm all done y'all i am like not say i'm tired i've been up and I'll tell you, I'm not an early person, but I'm trying to readjust myself to do that. My goal is to be in bed by nine. Um, but of course, when I have late nights like tonight, that is impossible because I am 20 something minutes from home and I still have not cooked dinner. Good thing is, I like I said, I cooked, took the shrimp and the broccoli out. That's going to be really quick. So all I got to do is like wash my, wash my face and, you know, all the nightly things um, as far as freshening up for bed and i think that's it and read my books really it doesn't that's oh no i do have one more thing to do but i can do that with my computer in the bed and it's gonna be quick and we'll be we'll be good to go so i hope you all enjoyed this day in the life video i'm so excited to keep going to keep growing i hope you guys are inspired don't give up just pivot all right love you guys see you in the next video